today we are off to Fraser Island. It is our first trip for 2022. Um, got the kitties on board. We're going for how many days? Six days. Can't wait to take you along. Fraser Island 2022. campsite at all well, my pronunciations are just so wrong of this island so I think it's Dundabara is that right? Dunbara? Dundabara Dundabara not sure this is where we're camping we decided to go fence this time when we brought our daughter here when she was 18 months old we set up at zone 8 and I'm not gonna lie it was terrifying there was dingoes every day up and through our campsite every night scratching at our tent so in the fence area with the kids we're going to show you around some of the amenities we've got amenities car parking and our first toilet block men's ladies 
In this toilet block you have three toilets, three showers, two dollar coins. You get about two minutes. Little wash area. Here in Wadi are two of the only places you can have fires. Communal fire area. Can't camp in the communal fire areas. <laughs> These sites over here are the pre-booked trailer sites. There's only a couple, the rest are tents. Campsites are like this, there's little bollards and they're in little raised areas. Definitely not our jam. No privacy, really small spaces. Everyone can hear you, what you're doing, see what you're doing. Not a fan, but if it's all that's available and you want to stay in fence, I guess it is what it is. I've also got a walking track in here. Oh, it's 2Ks. To the one girl Sambo. More little camping spots. Water. We've been using it to do our dishes. Have we drunk it? We haven't drunk it. But we did bring water treatment tablets, but we've had enough water. We haven't had to use them. Second amenities block, wheelchair accessible, and a lot more toilets and showers. There's also a group camping area. Group camping area behind that gate. Then you've got some little spots like this. A bit more private. Our campsite.
Isle of Rocks, Fraser Island. We've had a king tide this morning at 8.30. It's a big one. Had a little bit of trouble getting around Indian Head. Um, hopefully we can get up and around here. It's 11. Tides still aren't on our favour, but fingers crossed. It's really quiet on the island. Haven't seen a dingo yet. The first time we were here there were dingoes everywhere, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. It is an absolutely gorgeous day today. The weather is amazing. Nice and hot. Sand is feels like it's about 100 degrees on your feet. This is where we camped the first time. We came up here, zone 8. It's an absolute banger. Quick little stop. Little tea tree lake. Be nice and cool. towards the Sandy Cave.
After attempting this morning to get to Champagne Falls, the tides went in our favour. Got here this afternoon, 3.30, and it is pretty perfect. It's a good time to explore, beat the crowds. It's around 5.30. Got a soul in sight. It's the way we like it. Day three, Lake Birabeen. Lake Mackenzie's, I think it's little sister. The sun's just gone out, but we're losing a floaty as well. Already lost three boogie boards and two floaties today. Isn't we hubby? What was that? Me? Off the roof? Yeah, you. I don't think you tied it down right. <laughs> oh, I don't think you tied it down right. Uh, Stopped for a bit of lunch, car park, visitors area, a bit of footy, it's very quiet. Second stop of the day, first one was Lake Birabeen, after this we've got Lake Mackenzie. Central Station and we are just going to do that little one the Wangaloo Bar Creek Circuit the first time we came here it was a massive detour on our day trip I remember seeing this and thinking oh my god I've made everyone come like an hour off our trip just to come here and thinking oh the water's filthy but then you get down there and it's so crystal clear and it's just the leaves on the creek bed. Really beautiful place.
Day four, Fraser Island. Little trip inland today. We're going to see the Knife Blade, Sandblo, Lake Loom, and Warrilee Beach. Cute! Look me! First bit of sunshine for the day and we are on day four on the west side what a vibe it's beautiful over here over to the western side on the way we did knife blade lookout 
really cool. It's the biggest sand blow on Fraser. Um, we also went into Lake Alum. I think it's cool to see the little turtles, super cute. Wouldn't swim in there. Um, what else did we do? We popped over. We tried to do a Winya Creek, but the tide was too full. We had a little swim. Beautiful over there. Weather's been a bit crappy, but anything on Fraser is nice anytime. So I think we're going to head back now, Eli Creek, for a quick swim and then back to the campsite for some cards and drinks. Um, gonna make a move before it starts bucketing down. Just popped into cathedrals. This is where we've been getting our ice from. Six bucks a bag. Fuels two dollars sixty at the moment. They've got ice creams, floaties, the little park. Toilet facilities over there are currently co closed because of coronavirus, COVID. A little pit stop. You can also get internet here. It's $5 for 250 megabytes, which is enough to send, you know, a couple of messages, things like that. Day five, back at Eli Creek. Just waiting until the tide is in our favour so we can go back down the beach and head on home, get the barge. Yeah, it's good, been a good couple of days. A bit windy last couple of days and overcast, but you get that. Overall, that's been a really good trip. So, but yeah, spending a couple of hours here, which is good. I haven't really had time to relax the whole trip to be honest, so it's good to good to be forced to um, sit down and just chill out for a good couple of hours. Yeah, any thoughts on the trip, Slav? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> any thoughts on the trip? Tired, hard work. But the positives? Love it, <laughs> the wind. <laughs> No, I do love Fraser, but it is when you're camping with kids, self-sufficient, hard work. It's good though. Yeah, it is good. Good times, good memories. Maybe another five years will <laughs> feel like coming back. But no, nah, it's been, it's always good. It's just a lot of hard work, as families would know. But um, yeah, alright, bye. Mm -hmm.